I wonder how quickly, like, it would take for me to get banned if I just started streaming, like, Netflix on YouTube. What? Watch TV. It'd be hilarious. I feel like it'd be pretty... Solo, oh, do you play solo adventures? Is that what you're talking about? Huh? Solo adventures. Are those ones you have to buy? You gotta like, buy the thing? Or... One that says Monster Hunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Witchwood? Or Witchwood. And yeah. then Cobalt Catacombs has Dungeon Run. Okay. Do you have to pay for these though? They all free. You just like you choose it and then oh, and then it just starts you off with like ten cards. Then you beat the first boss and then you pick three more cards. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pick three more cards. <clears throat> I thought you had to pay for these though. No. It's all I've been doing because it's offline too. So. And get fucking wrecked. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I thought you were a Hearthstone Fiend. I thought you played the arena. The fucking... No, I don't want arena. Shit. No? Aaron does arena. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You know, if you don't have the cards... Or yeah. So... A... Like ranked, yeah. Yeah, like you gotta open a lot of packs. Yes. Yeah, but well, for arena you don't, right? Oh, for arena, no. That's true. You gotta know the cards, you gotta like, cause you, like, pick one of every three, I think, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you just make your deck right off the bat, but like, kinda have to know what kind of deck you wanna build. Oh, yeah, sorry. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Lowe's. Alright, dude, there's a stream. We're live. Check me out. Pat, does PlayStation have, like, apps that you can go on? I mean, not PlayStation, Xbox. You have Xbox, right? What do you mean, apps that you can go on? Like, can you open up YouTube from, like, Xbox if you open you... Xbox? Yeah. How about Twitch? Our own version of, like, Steam. It's called Mixer. Oh, that's pretty installed and shit and you can like like i can stream games like to mixer like just by clicking it's pretty sick what about um twitch like watch people watch twitch i, I watch every once in a while whenever i get really bored or something you can do it on like xbox oh, yeah you can do it right on the xbox yeah okay, i got yeah. twitch and sh shit okay cool i just do it on youtube because it's like i find it a lot like if I, if I stream, I'm not. I'm usually not streaming for like a fucking oh. audience that watches me. If I do, it'll just be for YouTube. Cause then like the broadcast will like save automatically in my library. <clears throat> Find plays or whatever. Watch my. It's your YouTube thing. Uh, I sent the link on, um, okay. Discord. Watch, of course. Pick Matt's ass if you want. Matt, let's go. I will. Making it. Alright. Uh, like fuck something up. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Uh, fine, dude. Right. You know, I'll perfect my deck too then. Oh, that lagged. I heard that twice. Oh, well, it probably lagged because you're hearing it. Like, I would mute my stream because you're going to hear our conversation and. 
Yeah, shit. No, you're 100% right. <laughs> Stoner. Hey, Pat, do you remember uh, Tay Zonde? The guy who made that song, Chocolate Rain? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> right? I'm oh, going shit. Yeah, so he... There's this video of him streaming. <laughs> and he doesn't know how to, like, mute his own stream. He's got his stream on. Like, he, he's, he's, like, watching his stream on a second monitor or something. So he starts his stream, and then the the delays, like, the, the, the repeat happens, right? And then it just, like, stacks and stacks, so it just keeps going on. <laughs> and he doesn't realize, because I think he mutes it on himself or something. I, I'm not exactly sure what, what happens, but all his viewers just hear, like, the whole thing just repeating over and over again. It's just, like, like it just keeps going on. I'll show you. It's, it's actually ridiculous. And then, like, within a few minutes, it's just white noise because everything is getting repeated over and over again. It's just like, yeah, it's okay, finally this guy. What the fuck the wild game, dude? Cards that... <coughs> use old cards. Oh, you can use whatever you want, okay. Alright. I don't think my deck has any wild cards in it anyway. You know there's like charge? Charge. Oh yeah. Oh, they took out charge completely. But they kept it, but they added something called rush. It's the same except minions. Like you can't play it and then go face. You have to play it and attack a minion. Okay. So there is no charge. There's rush now. There's still charge. Yeah. Oh, there's but charge there's... and rush. Okay. Tracking? Why the fuck do I have that? I guess that could bite you in the ass, kind of. <clears throat> Um, all right, let's see how this goes. <coughs> Wait, so that battle cry is like, it allows you to destroy a pirate, or if you destroy a pirate, you gain one. How does that work? A pirate there. So like, if I just had like a dope ass pirate, you could just kill him, and then. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> Pat, are you watching this? Making a battle tag. Oh, right, right. I do have it open. The light shall burn you. The light shall burn you. Wonder. Shit, what's this card? Is that a beast? Fucking your beasts. I don't think I've ever beat you in Hearthstone. I don't think I've- you've probably played me like once or twice. <laughs> no fucking- yeah, It's always been Priest. <laughs> Priests suck, dude. <laughs> Priests are so bad. Never play it. <clears throat> I gotta learn the other ones. I wanna learn- what's it called? Like Warlock? Whatever. I don't know if it's called Warlock. I think the 
guy who it's like costs two health and you draw a card. Never start is. Shit. Oh fuck. And three damage. Or... <clears throat> anything else on PC, Matt? Uh, no, not really. I gotta send you guys... Have you heard of Binding of Isaac? Seen it or played it? No? Next... Oh, this is so fucking hard. G on the fucking phone. Yeah, it's weird for sure, but I'll tell you now, people suck at it, so not to work. Um, looks pretty decent. It's running pretty smooth. Yeah, it runs super well. Bet you I'd die before I even fucking hit the ground. <laughs> I don't know about that, dude. <clears throat> I'll charge Probably. my phone up a bit and we'll play. Come on. Oh, this was free. Except now my fucking data bill at, my, at work is gonna be huge. <laughs> <laughs> I got charged $250 extra last month. What oh the fuck? my god, dude. Come on. Your data game up. It's three gigs. I got, I got five. Let's go. Seven. I could have got ten, but the the plan with ten has like zero callings. I figured it's kind of weird. Uh, I just want. Yeah, like literally, like I don't think you get any minutes, or you get like it's not unlimited. It's so odd to me, but no. And, uh... Yeah, I think Bell's just, like, ripping me off. They they charged me $30 in, uh... Data Fuck. coverages or something. Not data, sorry. Long distance. <clears throat> for fucking... All in my life. Like, in the past fucking three months. To anybody. Like, yeah, that's fuck. kinda fucked. I don't know. Gotta kill. <laughs> well played, Matt. Fuck you. Fucking freeze. Fuck <laughs> one. I got the first kill in the game. It's up. that I'm picking up. What's the play area, Pinto? How the fuck do I get to that? 
Uh, click on your map and you'll kind of see like the zone, the safe zone. You know I, I mean? like a one blue dot. Uh, no, you're like the I don't know whatever color you are. And the blue circle, oh, there's no blue circle right now. There's probably a yellow, a white circle. I mean, and that's like where the gas is gonna go to. It's gonna collapse the map, and that's that's gonna be the new safe area. Anywhere outside of that is like covered in gas, just like in Fortnite. And if you stay in it, you'll take damage. So obviously. <clears throat> try your move and try run some niggas over. Yeah, get in a fucking car. <sighs> Try to make a deck that is. <laughs> no, I want to beat that fucking deck. <laughs> that was a different one, I think. I don't know what it was, though. So far from the fuck. Uh, yo, Matt, I got locked out of my house yesterday for like four hours. Oh, how long were you at your dad's? Were you sitting with your dad? Three hours, and I, I was sitting out front of my house for like an hour, and then I went to my dad's for a couple hours. Four or five, I don't even know. Uh, Pinto, you remember when we, like, for wedding, when me and you, like, went for a walk, and we took Patrick's key to lock yeah. the door? Yeah. What, 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 <laughs> what? what? Sorry? I don't even care if you did. I'm so, I wanted you to have it. <laughs> I did. Oh, because you... <laughs> it was locked out. <laughs> my boss, like my landlord, took or like my landlord or whatever. He took my car to go get a fucking battery for it because I just bought it off him, and then the battery was fucked up. And I didn't take the key, like my house key off. And then I went to go work for him for a couple hours during the day. And then he went out to Burlington with my car keys and my house key. <laughs> and I was stuck fucking waiting for him. That fucking sucks. It was my fault, though. I should have taken my house key off. Did he fix your thing? Your truck? Yeah, he got me a new battery. It's all good. Beauty. Every time I use the goddamn car. Did it finish downloading, Matt? Starcraft? Hey. Oh, yeah. Got <coughs> that Wait, do I want to be in the red zone or out of it? Uh, the red zone is, you want to be out of it. Um, <clears throat> red zone is just like a bunch of like bombs just start falling randomly. So Usually you're pretty safe, like it's not like super dangerous, but there's a chance that an, a bomb will just hit you and kill you. Obviously, you have to be careful. You can just stay inside a house though. If there's houses, you can just stay inside a house. You'll be I drove towards the red zone. Uh... Yeah. It's not likely that you're gonna die from it, chance.
What guns do you have? Rifle. That's it. Oh, I only went into one house, and then I saw some guy run, run up to it, and I just fucked him up. And then I got in a car, and I've just been driving aimlessly around the map. <laughs> Remember that, like, looting is, it's good to loot other people, too. Usually they have a lot of stuff that you can take. Into the round, he did not have shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I knocked out Jot with a vehicle. Fuck you, bro. Good bra. Two kills. First game. What the fuck is up? Bad. Not bad. Alright, Matt. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, we're gonna start it up. <clears throat> Are you start Starcraft? But. I have to change the resolution to really shitty. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I had so much stuff, it wasn't... <laughs> Actually... Shit, there's another guy. I step. If you kill them, they'll, like, drop a box with all their shit in it, so just go over there. A little button will come up, I think, and pick up all the items on that. Let me know how it runs. Just set the get, get the settings down. That's usually what I do, anyways. Even if I my computer's pretty good, but I usually just play with settings. Yeah, you turn it down anyway. Yeah. yeah. Depends. The only thing with the only reason I think I only do it with League when I put the settings up because one, it's an easy game to run, and two, like some of the animations look so bad when it's on low settings that I don't even know like like what ability is coming at me or whatever. <laughs> My TV right now too, do you think that would like slow it down a bit? Oh you're playing off your TV? Uh no, not really. But I would just yeah set like there's a lot of settings put down, so I would do. I gotta watch this fucking movie at the start? Can't skip it. I can learn about it, dude. Learn the lore of StarCraft, alright? That's half the game right there. Sh play the fucking campaign, bro. It's awesome, right? I'm telling you. Actually, so good. I, you'll, I feel like you'll love it, too, honestly. Not gonna lie. Loud.
Alright, are you in? I like it not. But you're not. I don't think I can invite you yet. Is it still loading, man? Hello. There we go. Uh, yeah, I just watched like the opening. Fucking... Okay. <coughs> Is your mind blown? Putting in my name, hungry baby. You have a boner from the intro. Is it? Is it amazing? settings somehow uh yeah press f10 i think so the menu wrong or just the bottom right that little game monitor icon thing find a map map for us Experience level. I play the tutorial. Oh, is it? yeah, yeah, I do. I've never seen it. Seen the I know. It. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Welcome to the Dominion Future Command of Training Simulation Module. Here you will learn to use our interface and issue orders to your forces. Now left clicking on you. Are you still in the game, PUBG? Some guy's trying to fuck with me. <laughs> Are you in the same game? As before? Yeah. How many people are left? Three. That's just not dying.
brain. <coughs> like 10 times. Sorry? What? Shot this guy like 10 times oh. and he's... So fucking weird. You die? Someone's shooting me, I don't know. Remember you can heal up and shit with med kits or first aid kits. Oh, full health, surprisingly. Oh. <laughs> Down this guy, can he get back up? Yeah, so you're playing like a squad game or a duo game. Um, so normally in solos, like if you kill a guy, he dies instantly. But since he's downed, that means his teammates are still alive and they can revive him. You gotta be really careful. But you can also kill him if he's downed and then his teammates can't do anything. But that doesn't matter as much, just make sure you kill his team. Been on my team? Sorry? Uh, I don't know. You, If there was, you'd probably know. You'd probably see like names or something beside your name somewhere. I, I don't know exactly. What? That's exactly what happened. I did, yeah. That, that guy was on my team. That's why he was getting <laughs> shot. And that's why I had to kill him with a grenade. <laughs> it usually it'll come up as friendly fire if you shoot your own teammate, but... I didn't say anything. It's every bullet I had on him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was on your team. <laughs> my kill count didn't go up at all. I still have kills. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> runs pretty well though, right? It runs really well. Terrible for my back. Why? Demon's not just sitting on my couch like... <laughs> <laughs> hours on end. Grinding PUBG. Hell yeah. Make an account without having fucking Facebook like that. I'm not sure. I think you can. It says login with phone or email, so you could probably do that. Not too sure though. On somebody else, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Have to. <clears throat> Matt, how's that tutorial treating you? Alright over there? Starting like the... Yeah. Hey Pat, do you ever play Stronghold with me? Did I ever get you into Stronghold? I can't remember. Oh, I don't believe so. It's kinda like Red Alert. But it's a medieval game, so it's like archers and all that shit. <clears throat> I don't think I ever did play that. It's kind of less about fighting, though. It's like you gotta worry about like food and like feeding your people and shit and like housing, all that shit. But it's still pretty fun. You still make you the end. Okay, you know what? I did actually. Now that you say that, I do remember. Watching you play it. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You never did, like, actually get into then, the play. Yeah.
can win this game, Magnus. Honestly, not that tough. I played my first game and I won it, so... I have faith, dude. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier than you think. Although you're playing squads, I think I played solo when I first played. Squads yeah. is definitely tougher, because you're by yourself, everyone else playing with a lot of people, so definitely not easy. Oh shit, so that's what squads is? Yeah, squads is like, four, like teams of four, that's how it works. So if you die, you get knocked down, and then you have like a small window for like your team to save you, pretty much. That's how squads work. Cool. Yeah, what the hell is an SCV? SCV is like your worker. You make it from like your your main command center, like that big ass thing, and it just harvests resources. So you click on them and you right click on like the mineral patches of things. That's like the main worker that like just collects money for you. You want a lot of them, and they just like aimlessly. Mine the minerals and then bring them to your base, and that'll give you money to spy and build other shit. Ooh, headshot! Nothing on me. I got four kills. There's only four people left. <clears throat> How many left? Four. First time I'll get. excited as fuck. I'm long to play this game. That's pretty fun. I mean, it's not like not exactly PUBG, but, you know, not bad. I mean, it is PUBG. It's just not, like, the same. I don't know. But it's not bad. You're also, like, ranked in this game, which is kind of cool. You're not ranked in regular PUBG. Ranked in the, like... Maybe as you start winning, like, you'll face better people. Because in the beginning, like, I feel like you just face absolute retards. Like, just, like, 12-year-old kids who don't know what they're doing. Wait, what's happening right now? The, the deal. What old red dot? <clears throat> oh. Up, nigga. Talking here. Bubbles here. Ready. Starcraft two. Starcraft yeah, two. Runs on your laptop. Oh yeah, how's how's it running, dude? Is it running okay? Resolution. Turn down everything. It's already set to pretty low. I mean, the tutorial's not like the best, like, um thing to look at, like, how the game's running, because, like, in, in the end, like, you might have some big-ass armies fighting each other. That'll get kind of intense, but... Hey, for the most part. Yeah. I'm gonna run double pistols. What the fuck? Safe. Oh, no. Boom, headshot. Five kills. Oh. You know what I keep doing? I keep accidentally shooting when I play this game. That's the one thing that fucks me up. Like, where the little tap button is, it, like, whenever I'm time, trying to, like, turn and look, I end up just shooting randomly, I feel like I just give away my position. In. Trying to do that less. 
Oh my god! Get rid of chicken dinner, nigga. Oh, let's go. I do. I'm getting real confused over here. Oh, what? what are you confused? Things. Sorry? Yeah, like. Barracks guys, I got SCVs. Yeah, 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 okay. I don't know what to do with them. I'm just staying in there. Okay, so SCVs, you like make a box, click them all, select them all, and then just right click on the minerals. They'll automatically start harvesting. Right? Yeah? Does that work? Right, Matt? You good so far? No? Yeah. You you click on the SCVs, right? And you click and you get them to you right click on the mineral patches to harvest. Yeah. Does that work? Then you click on your barracks and then you just start making units, whatever units you want, right? And there's different stuff you can do, right? You can add like tech labs to the barracks, I think. We'll see what they do. It allows you to like build like better units sort of, right? Just keep making more SCVs to get like a faster income, and then you can build more barracks, and you can build more units at a time, right? Um, then you start tacking up. You're gonna need supply. I don't know if they've talked. Have they explained supply to you yet? Supply depots. No. I was thinking like what we can do is like I'll just we'll just do a, a custom game, you and me against bots, and I'll try to explain to you. Like in real time, like what, what's going on, sort of. Want to do that? It might make a little more sense. I feel. Dad. Do you get clothes, or do you just start naked at the beginning of the <laughs> I think you start naked because you don't have any items in your inventory. You can, like, find clothes, but they don't actually do anything for you, so it doesn't matter. The only things that matter are helmets, uh, armor, backpacks, and that's it, I think. I don't even think how shoes do matter. Into, like, how do I start a game with, like, on the 4v4? Uh, so do you see the, in the lobby, like, the top left, there's a, I think there's, like, a number that just says four? Solo. That'll be, that'll be for squads, yeah, so solo is just everyone for themselves. That's what you want to play. This guy is just standing here. Fucking book. And, uh, Matt, you still okay over there? Uh, yeah, I guess. What are you, what are you trying to do? Like, what's the mission? Are you, are you just, like, beating, like, trying to well, fight I the other guy? Where to this fucking red square. And these guys. Yeah. But they're dying every single time. Well, are you just moving one guy at a time? Probably want to get like an army going, right? Build up like five or six guys, then move them all in. The How much? Dying. You know what they're dying to? What kind of? Uh, it? Things. Little red guys. Red guy. The shooting fire? Maybe it's fire bats. I don't know. Yeah, like fucking. They're like scorpions or something. Try to get like different units, maybe. So not just marines. Marines aren't that good. Just like your basic unit. Can you build marauders? 
If you go to your barracks from from your barracks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, I hope you're not sending SCVs out because those aren't those aren't like those aren't fighting units. Yeah, no. Okay. SCVs are like only like workers really. They do very little damage. They're not meant for attacking. Send out your marines if you want. The infestation. Our, our thing. Whatever you want to do. Okay. You want to just. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that'll be easy. Just uh, kill this one. I mean, come back, you little bitch. Come here. Headshot. All right, let's do this. Okay. Let's see what we. How did it run though? Was it kind of smooth? Too bad. Matt. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Perfect. I'll send you an invite. Play Terran. Oh. All right, so this is going to be a two v two, you and me against two AIs. All right. Gonna kick their asses. Please. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is just build SCVs. First thing I do. I have 50 minerals. Since I start, I build an SCV with it. Okay. Yeah. You doing that, Matt? CVs? I do that. So you click on your command center, right? And at the bottom right is like the shit that goes down in the command center. So there's a button called train SCV. It's got a little portrait of an SCV, right? You see that? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I would do first. And what you do is you click your on your S on your command center and then you right click on the minerals, okay? That makes a rally point so that as soon as the SCV spawns, it'll automatically start mining. Okay? Good. I think you did that, right? Perfect. Then if you look at the top right, you have supply at the top right, right? So once it gets a little too high, you can't build any more units until you build a supply depot, which allows you to then build additional more units, okay? So select one of your SCVs. To build stuff, you use your SCVs, okay? So you click on one of your SCVs, you take them off the mineral line, you go to the bottom, and there's a build structure icon. I don't know really, no, I don't know how to explain how it looks, but it's got a little B beside it. You can even use the keyboard shortcut B for building. And then you press S, or you click on the little supply depot, and then you build it wherever you want, right? Yeah. Okay, so you want to build a supply depot. While that's happening, you just keep pumping out SCVs. And then after that, you're going to build your barracks. That's usually the first, this is usually what we call a build order, okay? So your build order is going to be SCVs, then supply depot, then barracks, okay? Okay. Uh, so now you can always build, yeah, so. And then, okay, so once, since you build, you finish your supply depot, uh, keep pumping out SCVs now. You should probably have, a, you probably have a lot of minerals saved up, so keep pumping out SCVs. Get another uh, SCV to make the barracks, the exact same way you, that you built the the supply depot, right? There, good, good. Um, you can build refineries now on the gas geysers. Or gas geysers, they give you another resource, which is called Vespine gas, which is like for more advanced units. You can build one or you can build two, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, good stuff. Then, yeah. With me? Build a refinery, yeah. so that's what they're called. So, click on an SCV. 
like B for build, and then R is going to be the keyboard shortcut for a refinery. And you can only build them on those gas things, so you can build it there. Yeah, no? SCV, uh, so click on SCV, click build, click refinery, which is R, and then you click it on the gas geyser. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, now, since you have a barracks, what you can do is click on your command center, and there's an icon at the top right called uh, Convert into Orbital Command, something like that. Build into Orbital Command. You see that? Uh -huh. So you do that. That's a really good um, upgrade for your command center. It allows you to do different, like, cast special abilities that either give you more resources or... Um, Sort of give you like surveillance of the area. You can build another barracks now. You probably have a lot of money, so you can build another barracks if you want. I'm gonna go out and explore the map a little. Where are your dudes? I did on the. Shit? You see the mini map? I'm the I'm the other color that's like right beside you. Yeah. Not sure what colors we are. Um. I'm green, I think you're yellow. No, I'm I'm blue and you're purple. But yeah, depending on the thing, you can change the color, so I, I might be yellow and you might be green. Anyways. Okay, so after you've built your barracks, you can always build a second barracks, right? It's good to have more uh, production facilities. I'm gonna have my third one out, just for shits and giggles. And then what I'm gonna do is start teching up. So I'm gonna build a factory. So to build a factory, you want to select your SCV again, and this time you're going to click on the other build icon. It looks similarly, but it's um, it's advanced structures. Near the bottom, it's F. V for advanced structures, and then F for factory. Yeah. yeah. So factory lets you build vehicles like tanks, um, hellions, all this other stuff. Yeah. Then you're going to go to your uh, your barracks. I don't know if you have space there. Click on your barracks, and there should be a button, two buttons for a tech lab or a reactor. Complete. See those? You see those? Tech lab, reactor. Yeah. Click, on, click on your second barracks. Yeah. So one of those things, a tech lab, lets you build um, extra units. So if you look at your Marauder, it says a, t a requirements attached tech lab, and your barracks doesn't have one, so you can't build any Marauder. So what you can do is build a tech lab onto your barracks, and then you'll be able to train Marauders. Yeah. And on the other one, what you can do is build a, uh, what's it called, a reactor, and that allows you to build lesser units, like marines, two at a time instead of one at a time. Nice, yeah, the reactor, okay. What I like doing is putting my production facilities on hotkeys, then I don't have to click on the production facility just to use it. So if you double-click on your barracks, I think... Double click on one of your barracks, like double left click. All of them, all of the barracks nearby will highlight, and then hit Control Four Research. or Control whatever, and you'll put them on a hotkey. And then, what, whenever you want to use it, use them again. You just click on that hotkey, whichever hotkey that you make, and it'll select them, and then you can just build from there instead of you know having to. Okay. On each one. The trick with this game is like having a really good economy, but also spending that money. It's really important to spend the money that you make. You probably have a ton of resources right now, which is, um, which isn't good. I have that as well, so don't feel bad. I'm not good at this game either. Um, you want to keep all your resources as low as possible because you want to be spending them as much as you can, right? That makes sense. Now, if you if you like pan over to my base, you'll see that I have a second command center, another base, right? Do you see it? Can you see my base? Yeah. So I have a second command center, so that's going to start making... I'm going to start earning money over there as well, right? So it's a good idea to expand uh, my your base. You have one on this side that you can take very easily. I have an army coming, so I'll start making units. I don't have enough. Upgrade. Be good. 
Hey, you got some. Nice, you got the Marines. Okay, good. Good, good shit. They actually have a lot of units. Holy shit. Fucking... What? I'm doing. Okay. Alright. Dealt with their threat. Oh yeah, so the reason I wanted you to get that orbital command, Matt. Um, if you click on your command center now, you should have this ability called... Uh, it's right, it's the E, it's call down mule, right? Yeah. So click them, a, click that a bunch of times on your minerals. A mule is like a special SCV that only harvests, but it harvests minerals super fast. So it gives you a big income boost. I'm gonna do that. This is your energy. Yeah, you can do it a lot of times because you have energy built up. You have 160 energy. It costs 50 energy, so you can do it three more times. You want to get your second uh, reactor now, probably, because... You're gonna start needing um, your second gas geyser or whatever it's called. You're gonna start needing a lot. And you can put up to three guys in your gas geyser. So you can click on other SCVs and just click on the. Um... The barracks got destroyed. What the fuck happened? Oh. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like you might have accidentally set your own guys to kill it, but you can make another one. It's okay. You can build another one, like, right there. Fuck. Why that happened, but. Additional supply oh, I build another. Sorry. Build another reactor, I guess. Refinery for the gas geyser, or. Oh, I mean. Yeah. So SCV. So you click on SCV, right? Keep making SCVs too. You don't have enough. Research. If you hover over your command center, it'll say how many workers you have and how many you should have. It should say something out of sixteen. You probably have like nine or ten out of sixteen. You want to get that sixteen out of sixteen. Maximize, yeah, just keep building workers, good. Get another SCV, get them off the line, make them build your refi uh, your barracks back, right? So build B and then B, I think, for barracks is. And pretty much you just want to keep building stuff, like you want to keep building more units out of your barracks, get your whole army and bring them up to the front with mine. Who's my army? Which guys? Uh, the marines are the guys with guns, right? The reapers. The SCVs, you have a bunch just like sitting there, so you want to click on them. Um, if you click on, you see above your minimap, there's like those two things, F1 and F2. F1 is like idle workers, so you want to you want to select all your idle workers. You press F1, I think. Let's try it. Press F1 or Shift F1, I think. To select them all, and then you just get them to mine again. So you click click on all of them. You have a bunch there. Just, sit, just make a box around them or whatever. It's fine. Just select them all and put them back on the, the mineral line. Put them back working again. You see all these? I'm pinging like all those guys. Just make a box with your with the left click, like drag a box around them. You'll select them all, and then click on the mineral line, the minerals to get them to work. And yeah, do it with all of them now. There's still a bunch that aren't. Yeah, you got two. You got a couple more. Your best shot. Don't leave me hanging. Mineral field depleted. 
Um, keep building more stuff too. Now you have a lot of SUVs, that's good. You can drop your mules down again, right? Remember how we did that? Mules always give you extra reinforcements. Good, like extra gold. Important. Build another geyser. Yeah, you can build another geyser. Get more guys in your original geyser as well. You can get you can have up to three in there, so that's real, that's important to have. Upgrade complete. Uh, SCVs. SCVs harvest all the resources. And keep making units. Click on your barracks and make some more marines, marauders, whatever you can make. These fucking idiots to do stuff. Who? SCVs? Yeah. <laughs> Select them all. I'm not sure. Yeah. Just make a box what, around all. Like them. the barracks? Yeah. No. The okay. So the SCVs don't do anything to like already made structures. The barracks just make shit on its own, right? The SCVs just harvest resources. That's all. So get them back on the mineral line. Build a command center here, that's what I would do. So select one of your SCVs, tell them to build a command center there, because you're running out of resources in your main. Right? I'll send you resources. Build a command center. Yeah, so you get another, get an SCV. Right? Remember, whenever you're building, you're getting an SCV. Okay? And you're gonna send, you're gonna build, a, yeah, build a command center there. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, get all, yeah. It's only one. The like additional SCVs aren't gonna make the build faster or anything. So having all those there won't change anything. Just you just need one worker. So get those guys back on the line. There you go. Good. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so get your mules again. You're at you're at 200 energy, so you can get your mules to start doing their thing. God. That's not. The mules do? The mules just, um, they're like enhanced SCVs. They just, they just re like collect resources faster. So once you have that, this second base, it's almost done. You can lift it off when you, when it's done building, you can click on it, lift it and build, bring it even closer and land it closer, closer to the mineral patch. So that the, the SCVs don't have to move as far. Build more SCVs and then you'll have another sort of um, like a, another source of income. Upgrade on your tech lab, if you click on your tech lab on your barracks, there's like different upgrades that you can make as well. So take a look at those. 
You can like upgrade your marines, you can upgrade your marauders, I think. Yeah, take take this guy. Take this uh, command center. And lift it off and bring it to bring it a little closer to that mineral line. So there should be a button called lift off. It's like L I think for short. What's going on? Move it. Best being guarded. Lift it and then bring it down, not not up. You bring it down to the other mineral patch, not not to not not to the not to the same mineral patch you're already using. You're gonna bring it to a new mineral patch that's fresh. You just right click it. It's kind of like a unit now. You just right click it. It's bring going it. in like. I'm gonna go the other. Oh just click God. on where you want it to send it. Just use the mini map. Click it to the mini map. Yeah. And then use the land button, it's also L, and then it should, there should be like a little outline of where it's a good spot to land it, I think, I'm not sure. Like where to land it. Or maybe not. But just land it as, like, nicely in, the, in, in like, the mineral patch as you can without, you can probably move it a little closer. Yeah. Should kind of tell you where. What's going on? Mineral field depleted. Okay, so now that you have your second command center, yeah, start re start mining there, and then start building SCVs there, and you have your energy, so start dropping mules, drop all your mules at the second base now, it'd probably make more sense to do it at the second base. Mules? Yeah, the mules, remember you click on your first command center, and you press E, I think, is the shortcut for it, you drop a bunch of mules on the minerals, you just click drop mule or whatever, call down mule, and you drop it on the mineral, on the new mineral patch here. Yeah, there you go. And they're mining, yeah, good. Perfect. You can do, I think, one more. Yeah, you can do one more. Been waiting on you. And if you have money, like, how, how many, how much resources do you have? Oh, I have a bunch, right? How many minerals do you have? A thousand? I'm gonna send you a bunch. I have a lot. But with this money, all you're gonna do is drop, like, select SCVs and just build as many barracks as you want. Send you 5,000. So just build a bunch of barracks, build factories, whatever you want. Uh, starports to build air units. Sorry? Yep. I, yeah. You gonna give me orders? Insufficient Vespine gas. Take your SCVs, whichever ones you want, and just start building them wherever you want the barracks. There. But. That way, the more production facilities you have, the more like you can build at once. Because right? now you have—I gave you a bunch of money, but you can't really spend that money because you have like one or two barracks, right? Get from above. This better be good. So you want that? Yeah, Been waiting on you. Orders received. Mineral field depleted. Ready for 
pickup? You gonna give me orders? Yes, sir. I feel ya. Insufficient phosphine gas. Not enough energy. Like, look, look in the middle of the map here, where I pinged. Just look at what I'm doing there. Yeah. I got a bunch of SCVs, and they're all just going to build a bunch of barracks there. I have a lot of money, and I and I don't have enough shit to, like, produce units. So I need to build more barracks, and then I can build, like, you know, 30 Marines at once. That's kind of my goal. Yeah? Roger that. Confirmed. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I just don't know how to do that. Yeah. Just get all your SCVs, or like get a bunch of them. You might have a bunch that are... Or just build more if you need them, right? You don't have that many SCVs. Constantly build SCVs. This guy should be building, pumping out a bunch of SCVs. Just keep building SCVs from your... Yeah, so I think your supply blocks, you need to build supply depots. Again, click, get a couple of your SCVs, get one or two, and build a bunch. If you want to build many at once, what I do is I I use the hawk cocky, so I click on one SCV, I click B for um, build, I click S for supply depot, and then I hold shift, and then I kind of queue up commands. So I hold shift, and then I click a bunch of different places, and pretty much what, ha what happens is like, as he finishes one, he'll start the next one. Now what? Our SCVs are under attack. Talk to me. Our SCVs are under attack. Well, I left. What? Only one guy left. One on one? Base is under attack. Inbound, loud and clear. Engaging. Mineral field. kills there you go remember you don't like more than like only one scv can build something at a time right so you can't like build um you can't build one structure with multiple scvs so a lot of times you just have like them standing around yeah they're back to work You can expand again, there's other places you can take, so if you look on the map, you can just send an SCV out, tell them to go to another command center, to another line of minerals, and then tell them to make another command center. Field depleted. Big job, huh? Uh -huh. What's going on? Bad news? Ah, you scared me! You can make uh, the gas geysers over here, the reactors or refineries or whatever they're called. That. No, I didn't even do that. Click, click on your SCV, click build, and then click refinery, whatever. An SCV, yeah, build refinery. I I always just try to use your keyboard shortcuts. Click on one SCV that's in the line here because they're close, right? Just click on one, like B for build and R for refinery, and then get it. Yeah, there you go. 
And do the exact same thing for it. So click a different SCV and then do it for the other refinery. You still have your original refinery here too that you can use. So build an SCV or click on one of the SCVs that isn't doing anything. Uh, tell them to do the exact same thing. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. But like you probably have money, right? So don't worry about that. Just get production facilities. So tell your SCVs to build, like select an SCV, build, you know, factories, build barracks, whatever it is. Build more. Yeah, so you have a couple more, that's good. Build, um, now build tech labs and reactors on those, whichever one's tech lab reactors. Try to get them all under one hotkey. What is it? I, I think I blew it up. Blew what up? Yes, sir. Oh, the other dude thing? I, I just killed it, yeah. Roger. Now you can move your guy closer. You can scoot it over a bit if you lift it off and then land it right beside it. Closer. And... What are talking about this? Talking about... What's going on? Ah, you scared me! Maybe in the rear. Go ahead. It's the tech thing you were talking about? Tech lab, you put that on a barracks. So you click on the barracks and you build a tech lab off of it. It's one of the bottom, bottom buttons on the bottom, I think. And that allows you to build better units like the Marauder. The tech lab takes a little bit of space. So one of your barracks has it. The one right underneath your first command center has it. See? So that, if you click on that, you can build like Marauders and other uh, Aaron, have you watched the show Atlanta? Oh, really? No, I haven't. Thought about it. Yeah. Oh, it's the show. Yes, Commander. We know show. Like, you gonna give me orders? rap manager or whatever for his friend who's like, or his cousin, sorry, who's like an incoming rapper or whatever. Hmm. You hailed? Like, it's... Donald Glover, he's like he touches on like a lot of like fucked up shit. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. This episode in uh in season two, it's like season two episode six. It has like nothing to do with the show. Like this guy just this uh the guy Darius, he like goes to buy a piano on this fucking guy on Craigslist, and it's the most fucked episode ever. <laughs> like couldn't even believe it. I remember the one episode in season one where like guy black people yes, sir. like he likes black culture. Yes, he doesn't really like black people, but like <laughs> or it's like cringe. Oh my god. I got my ears on. Inbound. Donald Glover like dresses up in like white face to play this like <laughs> like crazy dude and he's like, a white guy in the show that's fucking... so like for this okay one yeah, yeah yeah oh fucking creepy man i didn't even know it was him until i went online later was jackson like All right, how you doing, Ozer, dude? Right. See, now that you have a bunch of barracks, right? You want to click on all of them. 
Like, just double click somewhere, or just. Do you know how to, like, add hotkeys, like, to a team? Like, make a team? Do you know how to do that? Like, if you go to your main base over here, you have a bunch of units there, right? <coughs> just double click on one of the Marines, and you'll select all of them. And then press, like, control and then a number for your hotkey. Like, for the, the, that'll be, like, the team group that it'll, it'll be on. So. Double click on your Marines just to select them. Maybe just move them out first. You don't even have to do that yet. Just double click on your Marines over here. Just double click on one of them. You should It should auto select yeah. all of them. And just like move them out. I'm eating. Yes, Commander. I'm on it. Big job. Man the rear. What's going on? Oh, really? Patching you through. Our allies' base is under attack. Confirmed. Oh no. What is it? I built that and then I didn't send anybody over there. Depleted. I'll go clean up that army. Yes, Commander. Okay, do you see above your minimap those two icons? Like one's F1 and one's F2, right? See that? Yeah. So if you click the F2 one, just click on the little icon. It'll automatically select your entire army, I think. Once you do that, just move your army out forever. Move them out to the front of the base or whatever. Yes, Commander. What's that? Patching you through. This you hail? There you go, yeah. Just keep moving them out a little more, right? Bring them out with my army. See my gas army coming in here. What is it? Do you know how the movement works? So it's like, right click to move units. Idiots are just standing here. Guys, yeah. Yeah, just keep moving them, right? They're not gonna like move on their own or anything. Select them. I'm gonna move, move out. Yes, what I would do is select these guys that you have here, your army, and bring them here. There's a base there that we should take out. Waiting on you. Mineral field depleted. Select your army, you can do that a number of ways, you can just make a box around them, and then you'll have them selected, or click that little F2 button at the top. And bring them where? Bring them here, to this base that I'm pinging on the minimap. Up there. The best way to move them, I, I what I do is called an attack move. If you just do a movement command, and you run into an army, it'll just it'll just keep moving them there. If you do an attack move, which is like, use uh, A and then left click, and now you're taking out that base, that's good. Yeah, attack move like allows you to move them, and then if they see someone, they'll automatically attack them. 
but a regular movement command will just move them in the direction and if they you know if they run into an army they'll just start dying they'll get to where they want to go and then they'll start attacking that's okay nice you took that base out good might want to check out this base see there's a small base here where i'm pinging just look at the mini map every now and then the map's really important Here they have bases as well, if you want to take out those bottom bases. What is it? Okay. Select your army and just move them to all those different bases that you see on the map. Let's start with this one because it's closest. Select your army with the F2 button or whatever and then attack move them to that base. Yeah, there you go. Unacceptable command. In money? How much money do you have? Five thousand. <laughs> oh, you got plenty. Good. Yeah, just keep building units too, right? Like, so move your army. Like, just what I would do is take this army, just attack, move them here. So, like, a left click. That's that's how I do it. Do it on the mini map. Select your army, and just using the mini map, just go click a and then left click on the mini map to where you want to send them. They'll automatically move there and start attacking everything in their in their sight, pretty much like anything that they can. While you're doing that, since like you don't really have to watch that happening, go back to your base, get all your barracks, and build up another army. Right? You need to get you need to supply. I think you supply blocked right now. So um, drop down some supply depots. Again, you want to try to get your SCV. You have to do that with SCVs. You have to build SCV, or you have to build supply depots with SCVs. Um, the shortcut is B and S. So click on a bunch. B then F. Oh no, your army's army's there. Well, our allies 
are being unacceptable to man. We are at maximum supply. <laughs> die, die, die! Let's run. By the numbers, who wants some? Somebody, get me out of this mess! This dude's been waiting on you. Armed and ready. Ready to raise some hell. Oh, there you go. You got an army there. That's what I like to see. After the marauders and everything. Good. Yeah, like down here. Yeah, yeah, at their base, yeah. 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 Yeah, but they won't fucking move. They are moving. They're attacking everything in their sight, right? And they're just fucking chilling. Yeah, so select them, right? If you have your map on them, just make. Five or whatever, F2, it made. It would select them by themselves. Yeah, but if your units die, then you have new units. They might not have joined that team or whatever that you did, right? Like if a unit dies, then I'm going in. Yeah. Hell yeah. Our allies are being attacked. You guys both the green? Uh, I'm green. He's yellow. Or I can change the colors. I'm green. Or I'm blue. On the mini map, like I'm green and he's purple, I think. And then in the game, I'm like my colors are blue and his are purple. If you're watching my. Complete. It is obviously the enemy. Yeah. I can change it back, yeah. I like it just like that. He's yellow. I'm green. And then... Alright, so I think they finally wiped your army, but you did a lot of damage there, so that's good. Now you just need to make a new one, right? Same way you did it. Just select, select all your barracks. Just constantly make sure they're pumping out marines. Yes, Commander. It's, oh my god, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's not an easy game. You just gotta focus on like the important things. So. They're moving the minerals all the way back to this other command center. Which yeah, because there's no, com there's no, that's my command center, right? You can't use my command center for it, that's why. It was over a while ago, I'm just kind of fucking with it. These damn surrenders. Yeah, we can just accept them. Cauterize the area. Yes, Commander. I'm on it. You will research complete.
Patching you through. Take it slow. You healed? I'm on it. Roger. Research complete. Okay. Will do. Our allies are being attacked. SCVs are under attack. Ah, you scared me! Ready to raise some hell! Our SCVs are under attack. Move it! Not enough energy. They speak our SCVs are under attack. Oh, really? En route. Patching you through. A mineral field depleted. Well? Ready to raise some hell. Are you healed? Yes, Commander. What is it? Daylight burning! Burn rubber! Are you ready for this? Well, here's the hot action! Light it up! Talk to me, boss! Hell yeah! All day long! I'm waiting on you! Well, here's the hot action! Sounds sweet! Mineral field depleted. Got any extra firepower? You healed? Uh, it's heating up out here. Well? To me, boss. Lay it on me. Absolutely. Yes, Commander. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Getting fired up here, boss. In motion. Ready to raise some hell. Speak up. Flying. We are at maximum supply. Well, oh. mineral field depleted. Yes, Commander. Patching you through. Whatever that means. Yes, Commander. Roger. You hailed?
What is it? You hailed? And root. All right. We did it. Something else. It's kind of tough to like learn. I don't know. I'm not the best teacher either. Are Games are usually. Sorry. What was that? How do you win? Um, generally, like the other team just surrenders, like how they tried to do. I just didn't want them to, uh, to end right away, just so we could learn a little more. But the, like, if they don't surrender, then you just destroy every structure. If you lose all your buildings, then you the game. Even if you have like a full army, the game's over. Yeah. Usually, like it just like in these kind of strategy games, like the the game snowballs really hard, right? So. Um, for example, like if I like do a sneak attack on you and I kill all your SCVs, you're pretty much going to lose the game regardless of what happens because your economy is going to be so far behind now, like you're not going to earn enough money. And then like a lot of people will just surrender after that, they just know that the game's over. Because while you're rebuilding all your SCVs, I already have, you know, a bunch and I'm making more money, I'm going to be teching faster, all this shit. Kind of tough to like explain stuff, I don't know. But a little tricky. What do you think, though? Do you like it? Um, I got a definitely strategy, really. Yeah, I mean the main thing, I like building shit. I didn't even really know what I was building and why. Right, right, yeah. Um, do you have time for another one? No, probably not. All Sorry. Right. That's fine. Done. There's this mode where um, it's like two on two, but there's only one base, so we both control the same base, like army and stuff. Might have been a bit better. I should have done that, because then you could kind of like see exactly what I'm doing with my base and stuff. Yeah. By the time we could do that. I didn't know it was gonna be like that. We were like, we're on the same team, but we're totally separate. We're on the same team, but we have completely different bases. You can't do anything with mine. You can't spend my money. You can't even yeah. kill my units. Yeah. That's generally how it is. There's Archon mode where it's like what I was just saying. So it's just one base and two of us, which we could do. Um, we could try that after some other time. Interested. Try the campaign too. Like I really like the campaign because like each level pretty much. Um, it slowly kind of eases you into the game. So, like, the very first mission of the campaign, like, you're literally just controlling a couple Marines. And then the next one, like, you, I think then you have a base, and then, like, each kind of mission unlocks, like, a different unit. So it, it really explains, like, how to how it's done. Nice. You want to do that on your own. It's really fun, too. I like the storyline, so pretty cool. Like, give you an idea of, like, how to... Yeah. Thing. Sorry. Are you playing PUBG? I literally just sat down from making food. I'm gonna call it a night. How was that on the phone? Later. <coughs> it was pretty sick. I get it. Considering I won the first two games that I played, I'm pretty yeah, sure. it it's pretty easy in the beginning, but I think yeah, I think you get like ranked, so you could, I guess, if you keep winning, you're eventually gonna start facing better people. So that's what it said. Like I'm already at level seven or something. Okay. I, I shall talk to you guys later, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. All right. Uh, Pinto, what do you uh said you're Gonna see if you can come down next week. Yeah. Um. Not really. I don't have anything planned. I don't think I'm doing. Okay. It, so I could. Go up if you want. I crash with one of you guys. Pat, crash with you. Hey, I'm not working, so. All right.
Talk to you later, bro. Time to talk, I usually end Matt for you. Sorry? Okay. What, what time does hockey usually end? Yeah, uh... Half. Seventh. Actually, no, I think it's a... 30...